where vote counting has begun after the historic general election. This is Myanmar's first openly contested national election in 25 years. Turnout is reported at 80 percent, and observers characterize voting as smooth and peaceful. They also say it's a test of the transition from military rule to democracy. CCTV's Ryan Meltzer is at the polls. Voters showed off their ink-stained fingers as a badge of pride, a symbol of how much this day means to them after all the years of waiting and hoping. Plane loads of Myanmar migrant workers who were unable to register in time to vote overseas returned home for the election. In downtown Yangon, many shops closed to allow their workers to go to their hometowns to vote. People lined up well before dawn, stood in lines for hours in the heat, but they all believed it was worth it. It's worth it for your vote? How, how you yes, it? it's good feeling. Because I, I like the body, this is my choice, I put inside. Uh, this election is properly free and fair, not like five years ago. It's much more enjoyable. We can choose whoever we want to vote for, so I'm really happy. There were some irregularities, reports of intimidation and people being omitted from voters' lists, and hundreds of thousands of Rohingya Muslims in the troubled west of the country were stripped of their right to vote. European Union and local election monitors were on hand to watch the voting and later the counting of the ballots. Election officials kept the polls open late to allow those already in the polling stations at the cutoff time to cast their ballots. For many, the overriding emotion was one of joy, the overriding hope for change. I'm absolutely thrilled about it. I can choose the party that I can bring change to our nation. That's why I'm so happy. Regardless of the outcome of Sunday's vote, Myanmar's next president won't be known until sometime after January 31st, when the new parliament meets, nominates, and then selects from a short list of candidates. One name that won't be on that list is Aung San Suu Kyi, who is constitutionally barred from holding the country's top post. Ryan Meltzer, CCTV, Yangon.